Welcome back to the channel. Doing stuff to the El Camino today. Stick around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And by doing stuff, what I mean is, this thing used to have a bed liner in it. Not from the factory, somebody put it in later. And they did a bad job. Look, that's, uh, that's what a bad job looks like. Actually, they probably did an okay job. That's probably what California does to bed liners. Who knows? Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna redo what they already done did once. Double done doing, I guess. Anyways, that's what we're gonna do. And then after we do it, it'll be done did. Okay, so I went to Harbor Freight and picked up their finest truck bed coating, which is the only thing they sell, that iron armor. It's not terrible, it's not great. It's just like this El Camino, so it's perfect. Picked up some liners, some rollers, a couple brushes, and then we had to clean out the dust and debris from inside of this. Taped off the edges and we're ready to go. Hey, you're just in time. Yeah, the dogs should be outside. We're not going to paint them. I already swept it once. If you want to get in and brush it out again, have at it. There's two brushes right here, Allison. Okay. Meanwhile, I highly recommend gloves for this job. Place hand here. Didn't open it. Yeah, we're all open it the regular way. Set of gloves for you, set of gloves for me. If you want to brush it out, you can, but it's, I got 99% of it out, and the rest of it's going to be cut by bedliner. A couple pine needles, a little bit of rust. It'll be fine. I think the best plan is to go and start with the brush, and let's get all the corners and everything on this end and work our way back this way with the brush. Then we'll get the roller out, and we'll do the flat part. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The corners, basically. We're getting all the corners with this stuff. Nice and thick. Doesn't really matter be more than thin. We are using um, chip brushes as opposed to like regular paint brushes, nylon brushes, or foam brushes because the chip brushes are going to be the sturdiest thing. Uh, they're going to lose the fewest amount of bristles. Uh, and they're not going to get torn up like the foam brushes. These are definitely probably going to be the most durable product. Or durable... I don't know, not installation tool, but uh, application tool. Yeah. There we go. The most durable application tool for this is going to be these chip brushes. And the good thing is, if you get them at Harbor Freight, they're like about well, a buck, buck and a half, depending on what size you get. Check local listings. I'm sure that... Some of your Harbor Freights may cost more or less than mine does. Good news is that once we get the sides done, that's basically halfway. That's literally about half the square footage is just the sides. So I'm not saying we're halfway there, but we're halfway there. If you were in the military, you would know that halfway there means that is anywhere between the start and the finish. Anytime after we've started, but before we finish this job, we're halfway there. Did you know that? No. Now you do. So, if you ask, how far is it? Oh, we're halfway there. White shoes was a great choice for this. Well, put stamps all over them. Okay. Well, if you don't have dirty white shoes with stamps all over them, don't wear white shoes for this. It says using a well ventilated area. They're not kidding. Outdoors. I just try to stand upwind of this. Is that right? Upwind is, the wind is going this way. You want to go this way, so that way it's going that way. Okay. All right, are we about ready to roll this thing? Yep. All right, that sounds good. Well, you get down out of there and we'll fill the pan up. Do you want to roll with this at all or do you want me to roll with this? <laughs> how long it says it has to dry for? It's all covered up now. 
Well, of course the bed's covered up. Allow coasts to dry two to three days before using truck bed. Okay, so we have to let this dry for two to three days? That's insane. Two to three days, we can't use this truck bed. Well, when do we buy this? Oh, put my hands on it. We'll clean it later. When did we buy this, like two months ago? Yeah. And I haven't really used the truck bed yet, so I think we can wait another two days before we use the truck bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's not an issue. It looks pretty good. There's only one final step we need to do. Do you know what that is? No. We need to peel the tape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And there we go. This came out pretty good. And like the can said, allegedly it's gonna take a couple days before we're supposed to use this bed, but that's pretty much like brand new, except it didn't come from the factory with this. So it's, it's really better than new. It looks way better than it did with the peeling old bed liner. And there was no way I was gonna be able to scrape all that stuff off and make it brown again. So I think this is our best choice. Can you do your own bed liner? Yes, you can. You don't have to go do Rhino Liner. Is it going to be as good as Rhino Liner? No, it's not. Not at all. But for about 75 buck, it's uh, it's done in about 40, 45 minutes, and then it needs two days to dry. So that's it. It came out pretty good. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.